Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando free to play back on my free to play account. And in today's video, well, we got a little bit of a an emergency-ish maintenance and we got a couple new things. What I'm going to be going over in this video is the new Hoot Claw set. All right. Now, um, IGG just kind of sprung this up on us. Um, there might have been a couple rumors on line chat about, uh, I guess, some, some devs or people that uh, actually do like intensive beta tests. Um, kind of knew that there was going to be a new monster and uh, set coming out probably a week before it came out on the Taiwan server. I'm um, not really sure how those people got the, that information, but uh, it was in fact a, a true um, true things that were happening. We do have a new armor set and a new monster. So let's get into talking about the armor set, and then we can talk about the monster a little bit later on. All right, so first things first, we have... Uh, new helmet, legs, offhand, and armor. Alright, so just to put that into perspective for you guys. That is offhand, helmet, chest, legs. Alright. Was there a weapon there? And no weapon. So it's only four pieces of gear. Okay. And in reality, I would say two of them are... Pretty much either best in slot or just a little bit behind champ gear, um, especially at Mythic Grade. Now those two items obviously are not quote unquote free to play friendly um, in the sense that they need ultra rare, you know, drops. You know, that item like the, the Frostwing Hearts, the um, Gargantua Eyes, things like that, right? They, it needs the ultra rares, right? So let's go with the first one, right? This is the Strin Strigine Hood. Strin Strigin Hood. Whatever it's called. Um, it, at Mythic, um, it gives you um, about, that gives you 9.8% cab attack, 14% cab HP, and 4.2% army max HP. At Mythic. Now, that helmet is actually pretty, pretty bad. Um, for a free-to-play helmet, I would still pick the Indulgent Visage. That is 14% Inf and Rage Attack. Very, very good. And if all else fails and you're able to, myself, I have my Bumba Helmet at purple. That's 19% and 13% max HP at purple grade. And it's just like... You know, 4.2% army max HP. It's not a lot. So, I mean, if you guys want to build the helmet, more power to you. I think you're making a mistake. But, it is up to you to spend your items how you see fit. Personally, I would not recommend it. Next, we have the legs. The stealthy steps. Alright. And it, just in case you guys know or don't know, it appears that the Lunar Crest is the ultra rare item, right? As you can see, I already have Wild Fruit and I already have Hoot Claws, okay? Pretty, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, this one at Mythic, it will give you 22.4% range attack. 28% range defense and 11.2 range army max HP. So let's compare these to again another uh, Queen Bee set or Queen Bee item. The Honeycomb Traps at Mythic, and these are 100% free to play, right? 16.8 cab and ranged, right? This gives you 22%, 22.4% range attack only, right? So if you're going for a mixed set, yeah, the range attack, you know, the, the lack of 
a secondary attack stat is kind of a downside but I'm not gonna lie that 11% army max HP is pretty nice but let's actually compare it to one of the better in slot items which is the dragon's talent right so at mythic the dragon's talent has 28% inf 42% ranged and 21% army max hp um, mines are at uh, purple so as you guys can tell uh purple dragon's talons are pretty much as good as mythic stealthy steps so uh do that you know use that information however you guys want but in my opinion the stealthy steps are probably an item that you would want to look over for something that is better in that slot all right now the offhand this offhand gives you 42 percent cavalry attack now this is probably the best or actually probably gonna be the best in slot offhand for cavalry blasts period all right there is there's really no other offhand for cav stats specifically that you're gonna be able to get cavalry defense and also max hp and a super high amount of cavalry attack at 42 percent all right let's take a look at um champ gear or let's just take a look at all the cavalry attack offhands right so you have the eternal codex which a lot of people like to use that only has 28 percent you have champion light which has 42 percent champion qatar 49 percent okay 49 percent and also 42 percent range attack so that is a good mixed choice okay kind of keep the enemy guessing but it is a champion offhand the champion gear very 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 expensive so please keep that in mind dragon's fist only 30 percent call of the deep 21 percent uh these are free to play items let's go ahead and ignore those let's go down to the lunar boomerang 42 percent and it also has 21% cap defense and 21% max HP. Now, one thing to note, HP is super important. Probably the second best stat aside from attack in the game, right? Now, the champion items give you 49% and 28% army defense, right? Which is really, really good. But this Lunar Boomerang gives you 42% cav attack and 21% cav defense and cav HP. So I'm thinking in my mind, the Lunar Boomerang is now going to be the best in slot for cavalry blast, either solo attacks, rallies, fort battles. If you're going full cav, this Lunar Boomerang is going to be a must have because of that defense and that max hp it is just going to be pretty much invaluable for those cavalry attacks all right so again probably best in slot for cavalry blast specifically the lunar boomerang all right now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the beastly breastplate all right again this is ultra rare requires seven of the uh super duper hard items to get right but you do get quite a bit of stats you get 49 percent range attack 21 percent range max hp and 28 percent army defense all right let's compare that to other um you know gear that other chess pieces that have range attack okay so this is probably going to be second to champion gear for ranged attack only or just ranged attack in general uh, because it looks like here the champion plate which is a champ chest 
gives you 56% ranged attack along with 35% army HP. So that is by itself a very, 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 very good chess piece. All right, so let's go ahead and let's compare that to the beastly breastplate. Now here you can see it gives you 49% range attack and 21% max range uh, range HP, right? So you do get a little bit less attack, right? A couple percent less, and you also get less HP, okay? Now this is pretty important, right? You're getting actually not just a little, you're getting about 14% less HP because if you're sending a range blast, you're gonna want as much range in or army HP as you can get. Now the beastly breastplate is 14% less HP for your ranged troops compared to the champion plate. But again, champion gear, you need 10 mains and uh, here you only need seven. So I'm assuming for the cost, a lot of uh, ranged uh, blast sets that are not fully maxed out 11k champ accounts are probably going to be looking at this beastly breastplate and being like, oh my god, I want it, right? Because for the longest time, it's really been the hardened carapace as a ranged attack uh, chest plate or the champion plate, right? So that's just something that you guys can keep in mind, all right? So that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I will be coming out with another video on the best free-to-play team to take out the level 2 um, monster that's coming out, or that came out, uh, the Hookla. Uh, so please subscribe and hit that um, notification button. That way you don't miss out on the best free-to-play hunting team for Hoot Claw. Until next time, guys. See ya.